Hi guys, welcome back to Triple Play Sports Picks. My name is Adrian. Go ahead and do me a favor, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Here at Triple Play for Wednesday, September the 29th. It was a bad day, guys. Bad day. Going 0-3, guys, with all of our picks. So let's get to the recap for the Wednesday slate. And we had the Twins and Tigers going at it. And we had picked the Tigers money line. And the final score was Tigers 2, Twins 5. So that one didn't hit. Second one we had was the uh, Cubs versus Pirates. And we had did two picks on that game. We had the Pirates money line. And we also had the over three and a half runs for the Pirates. Final score, Cubs 3, Pirates 2. So both of them didn't hit either way. And the third pick we had was the uh, D-backs and Giants going over the total of eight and a half. And that one really didn't go over. Like, it was not even close, guys. Final score was D-back 0, Giants 1. Yes, that only lonely run was the Giants when they scored in the seventh bottom of the seventh inning. Giants had their chances to push a few more runs across, but nobody was hitting in either team. So with that being said, guys, let's get that behind us and let's start a new day for Thursday. September 30th and before we start the picks I will like to update you guys on the wild card standings for the American League first place is Yankees second place is the Boston Red Sox and behind the Boston Red Sox is the Seattle Mariners at half a game behind the Red Sox and after the Mariners is the Toronto Blue Jays where are the they are one game back of the Boston Red Sox. So all those four teams are, <laughs> can get any of those wild card spots. You know, but the pr surprising team that I really feel like has a good chance of making it to the playoffs, especially because they're on a 19 year playoff drought. Yes, 19 years, the longest in the Major League Baseballs right now. And it's the Seattle Mariners. They, that's the surprising team to me as they have come a long way fighting back. You know, they did beat one of the best pitchers from the Oakland A's, which is Frankie Montas. And um, I can see them honestly sneaking in there some way, somehow. I feel like they're going to sneak in there. So with that being said, guys, let's get to the, the picks for Thursday, September the 30th. And the first pick we're looking at is the Yankees versus the Blue Jays. On the mound for the Yankees is Corey Kluber, 5-3, 3.82 ERA. On the mound for the Blue Jays, Robbie Ray, 13-6 with the 2.68 ERA. Now on this one, I do like the Blue Jays as the um, pitching matchup. Um, Robbie Ray's been solid all year. I do like them to win the game the blue jays but you can't <laughs> you can't count out those yankees as well because they've been hitting as of late they've been waking up hitting and the blue jays finally woke up too um last night against garrett cole one of the best pitchers out there and i'm i'm not gonna pick any sides on this game but i do feel like the blue jays might win this game and I, I'm going to go with the runs, over eight and a half runs. As last night, they did go over the runs. It was at the same run line too, eight and a half. So for that reason, I am going to choose that instead, the over eight and a half runs for the Yankees and Blue Jays. And the second pick I'm looking at is the matchup between the San Diego Padres versus the LA Dodgers. On the mound for the Padres is Vince Velasquez, three and eight, 6.22 ERA. On the mound for the Dodgers is Tony Gonsolin, four and one with a 3.00 ERA. And you know what? It was a dog, dog fight last night between these two teams because, let me give you just a little quick recap of, of that game because the, Do the Dodgers had Max Serger on the mound and the Padres had Ryan Weathers, and Weathers gives up a ton of runs. So the first inning, the Dodgers score four. Second inning, Padres score one, 
And then the sec bottom of the second, Dodgers scored another one. So it was 5-1 to one at that point. And the Padres came out storming with runs in the third, fourth, and sixth inning. And the seventh inning as well. Where at one point they were up 9-5. to five. Yes, 9-5. to five. Those Padres were up 9-5. to five. And then in the bottom of the seventh, Dodgers came back with one. So that was 9-6 at that point. Padres didn't score in the top of the eighth. Dodgers in the bottom of the ninth came out swinging, swinging those bats. How about four home runs in the bottom of the eighth inning, adding up to five runs in the bottom of the eighth to take over the lead. And if you guys did have them at minus one and a half, guess what? They covered because the final score was Padres nine and the Dodgers 11. You know, I look at this game and I see that this Dodger team has finally had enough of, you know, having inconsistency of, you know, having a good winning streak. And you know what? They said enough of this. We want to keep winning and we want to get that division. So for that reason, guys, I am going to choose this um, Padres and Dodgers matchup. And I am going to do the um, Dodgers minus one and a half runs. Yes. I think with that momentum that happened at late last night at the game, it's really, really going to come into play on this game. So Dodgers minus one and a half runs. I'm picking for this pick. So I did... I am doing two uh, baseball picks, and I'm also doing one pick for the National Football League, uh, which is a Thursday night football game. And on this one, I am looking at the quarterbacks and the record and all that stuff. And you know what? This guy, Trevor Lawrence, has been, you know, doing what he thought he was gonna do in college to try to do it in the NFL and it hasn't worked. Him trying to do, you know, these flea flicker plays hasn't worked for him as he does have um, seven interceptions and it hasn't been working at all. You know, last week I was watching part of the Cardinal game versus the Jaguars and they were up. The Jacksonville had the momentum going but the Cardinals came back in the second half and just started playing defense, offense. They were playing everything, and eventually they won the game. And the way I've been looking at this uh, Cincinnati Bengals team, they've actually been impressive as Joe Burrow uh, leads them with 2-1 and one record. And they did be beat the Pittsburgh Steelers the last game, 24-10. to 10. And I really like how they've been playing. They're playing at home. And so I like the edge on the Cincinnati Bengals team. And so for that reason, I am doing uh, for them to cover the minus seven and a half spread. But like me, I'm always wanting to play it safe. I'd rather do a teaser, which gives me additional six points. If you buy another point, that's seven points to give you. So with that being said, I do like the Bengals spread, and if I, if I do the teaser, I'm, it's gonna be left with uh, minus half a point for the Bengals. And I'm doing the over 30, 38 and a half points for the whole entire game, all right? So thank you guys, and let's hope we have a bounce back day. And let me get this recap for today. We are picking the over eight and a half runs for the Yankee game. We are doing Dodgers minus one and a half runs. And we are doing a teaser for the Bengals game where we have the Bengals at minus half a point and going to over eight, 38 and a half points. So thank you guys. Let's hope we have a win, winning streak going. And don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Thanks, guys.